Hi everyone. I decided to recreate an Art Deco painting from the 1930s of a Monaco car race. I've always liked the style of poster or paintings, but I've never tried to recreate this style of work. It conveys interesting motion for a still image, has a very clean style, and a rather balanced composition even though it is asymmetrical. The large red car is clearly the focal point, and the words Monaco and the date of the race. To perform this work, I place the original on the background layer and lock that layer. I then proceeded to break the work down into its separate components to tackle one piece at a time. I originally started with the obvious organic yet simple and large shapes like the navy blue palm tree in the upper left and the water shape in the middle right. Once I was finished with those, I started on large outline areas of solid color. The first I chose was the building outline. In the upper left, then I could color in that area with the light tan color using the eyedropper tool to choose the original color from uh, the original painting. At one point early on in the process, I chose to work on separate layers, as you can see, for the separate components of this drawing. That allowed me to turn on and off layers to see uh, what if what I was drawing matched up fairly closely with the original. Occasionally I would run into a geometric shape, like a rectangle or an oval circle shape, like the tires. And I used those tools in Illustrator when appropriate instead of solely relying on the pen and or the pencil tool. When it came to some of the smaller details like dust being kicked up by a car, as you can see here in the detail, in the far background, I simply used the pencil tool with the mouse and created a jagged shape or line to represent that element. Uh, this artwork took me something like seven hours to recreate. Originally, I didn't think it would take quite that long, but I tend to be a little bit of a perfectionist when it comes to my work. I would work a little bit, and if I got tired on that area of the painting, I would either take a break and get back to it or switch to a different area of detail and work on that for a little bit. I didn't try to recreate all of the uh, paint strokes or even some of the gradient effects like you can see on the wheel here. However, overall I'm pretty happy with the way that it came out.